Right, hello, welcome to the Laundry Centre. Today we've got something slightly different, but something very small and very cute. We have an AEG Lava Therm Compact, presumably from the late 1980s. Um, I picked this up last night, it was on Gumtree, cost me £20. The machine works. Um, I've not seen many of these before, I know of one other. Um, I thought I'd give this a go for 20 quid. So yeah, it's compact, it is very much box shaped. It's very deep as far as compact machines go. Um, a lot deeper than the Creda and the Hot Point ones at the same time, but it's not quite as tall. Um, so yeah, not more I can say really. It's got one heat setting which is hot, apart from the cool down tumble at the end. It doesn't reverse or anything. Um, and we've got two hour timer on it. We'll have a look at it and get some washing in. So the door opens with the hinge on the right. We'll open a bit further than that if the dishwasher's in the way. So we've got the filter ring, which is around the front of the dryer with the plastic close push, basically. The air will then go through this duct and out of a vent at the back. You can either vent it from the back at the bottom right corner, looking at it from the front, or on the right hand side at the very back. So you could vent it two ways. At the back of the drum, there's a fan which rotates in the opposite direction to the dryer drum. Um, that's got a fan belt that goes up to the motor, which is mounted at the top right of the tumble dryer. Um, and yeah, the drum is plastic. Um, one lifter, two. We have two lifters and they're only at the front of the dryer, which makes a bit of sense because the fan bit protrudes quite a lot into the depth of the dryer drum. I'll put the light on and I'll show you in there. So inside then we've got one lifter bar there. And one there. They're kind of like, well, that shape. You can see this is where the fan is and it goes in quite a way to the back. So there's a lot of wasted space. That's out of focus. A lot of wasted space between there and the back of the drum. Um, and you can see the fan's in the back and it turns in opposite. No, it goes in the same direction as the dryer drum. I stand corrected. Um, I'll see if I find something I can run the jar up with the door open quickly just for a demonstration. Two seconds. So I've taken the key piece out of my car key. Um, if I turn the timer on, I can put that in the door lock. If I actually turn it on. You get the picture. Let's put some washing in it. Not too bad height. So this does take a nine pound load, which I think is equivalent to about four, 4.5 kilos, which is quite generous for a baby machine. Um, not quite sure if it will actually take that though. Take all of this though that I put in the Husqvarna Play. Timer dial on the left. Got a name badge and a little neon light at the end when the dryer's running. It's quite quiet when it's running. It's a bit of a rattle, a bit of a squeak from it. It's not too bad. It's not a quick heater, I'll give it that, give that much though. Um, it takes a while to get hot. Sugar. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, this is all it's going to do for the next hour. So I'm going to cut the video there.
Thanks for watching and enjoying this video and I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.